Do you know how much the oil and gas industry is forecast to spend on digging up new fossil fuels over the next decade? $4.9 trillion. Why is this a problem? Well, our analysis shows all of this new production is incompatible with the world's goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees. Limiting warming to 1.5 degrees is not impossible. Meeting this goal will mean we can avoid the worst impacts of climate change. These are the top five companies set to lead this huge expansion, between them investing over $600 billion in new oil and gas. This line shows just how much oil the industry is set to keep pumping for decades to come. But production needs to decline immediately, as this line shows, if we're to meet the world's climate goals. That is, without relying on massive deployment of unproven technologies. And this shows how much oil would be produced if the industry doesn't make that multi-trillion dollar investment in new oil. Even this much oil is more than we can afford to burn if we're to reach the world's climate goals. If you think gas is the solution to climate change, you're wrong. All new gas production is incompatible with 1.5 degrees too. What could this mean for investors in our planet? Huge losses. If this investment goes ahead now, and then there's a rapid shift to cut emissions later on, all this extra oil and gas won't be needed. So these fossil fuel companies and their investors, including major pension funds, would face massive losses. And if people keep investing in new oil and gas and the world doesn't cut emissions, we would fail to tackle climate change. This could lead to losses four times larger than the 2008 financial crisis the manic Monday in the financial markets. and have devastating impacts on human life and the natural world. How can we stop this happening? We know we need to limit warming to 1.5 degrees. Oil and gas companies' plans must credibly align with this target. Investors have the influence to make this happen and must work with companies to do so now. Please share and read the report.